are plugged into shore power for the first time in 45 days. That's not, that's not totally true. Wait, yes it is. When is the last time we were plugged into actual shore power? Isn't the generator considered shore power? No, Ben, hardwired shore power. Well then, I stand corrected. 45 days. Feels good, doesn't it? I wouldn't know, you won't let me inside. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be hot for the next few days. So we are actually doing something we've never done before, which is stay at fairgrounds. So we're in Kalispell, Montana, maybe 45 minutes outside of Glacier National Park. We're going to stay here over the weekend, do some laundry, and i got to dye this hair, look at these roots. Maybe catch a movie, eat yeah. some fast food, Yeah. and uh, check out the town. Mm -hmm. I don't plan on cooking, not one time. <laughs> not one, not one time. She's not lying. So I can vividly remember before going on the road thinking, how am I going to dye my hair? And I know it shouldn't be that important to me, but I like my hair to be blonde. It just feels like me. So after the first time you do it, it's no big deal. I can do this in the trailer. No problem in the bathroom if we have full hookups. The problem is, is that the water heater is six gallons. It takes a lot of water to rinse out hair dye. It's just easier to have a regular shower to do it. I've done it I don't know, countless times, every six weeks or so at different campgrounds, um, even state parks. And I've never had any issues, never had anybody say anything or give me any crazy looks. But, you know, it's always one of those things that you just want to feel comfortable wherever you're at to be able to do it. So I'm going to go try to walk across the fairgrounds parking lot and see if anybody thinks I'm crazy on the way to the restroom and get this hair dye out of my hair. What's up guys? So in the quest for us to eat nothing but fast food these three days that we're going to be here in um, Kalispell at the fairgrounds, we've been sending a lot of signs for the Mudman Burger. So we're going to give it a shot today. I'm going to go check it out and uh, see what this is all about. Follow us along. unveiling of the mud man so Christina got a mud boy which is a quarter pounder burger and I was make make sure to get the chili on the side aka the mud and then we opted to share a large fry which is pretty holy pretty cow huge. that thing's gigantic and then I got the mother load which is the well, you can see how big it is. <laughs> it's the, what is this called? I think it's called the Mud Burger. I got the Big Mud Burger. The Big Mud. Yeah, it's got the two patties on it with the bacon, all the fixings, and the chili on it. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh my gosh, look at this monstrosity <laughs> of a hamburger. Yeah, buddy. I think I might need some tools for this one here. I think you do, too. That looks right up your alley, though, mm, huh? It smells great. I gotta get the first <laughs> bite. I gotta get it. I don't know if I can... Man. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. That is the biggest burger I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Is it good? Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Did the burger defeat you? It most certainly did, but it was fantastic. Yep, and that means leftover cheeseburger quesadilla for you later, buddy. Absolutely, which is really exciting. But also wanted to point out that Mudman Burgers is a non-profit organization, which is pretty awesome. 100% of the profits from Mudman sales goes towards helping children around the world. So, that's actually a, a great side note and uh, more the reason to patron there. Yeah, do you uh, think it's one of the best burgers you've ever had? Oh, without a doubt. 
without a doubt. I should have started with a smaller burger, but hey, I got leftovers, so I'm looking forward to those quesadillas. Mud Me and Burgers, it was a success. Four thumbs up. So what did you think about staying at fairgrounds? I thought it was um, actually pretty nice. It's wide open space. Uh, we actually came around a weekend where it was uh, pretty busy. It had a gun show and a, uh, what do you call that, FFA, Junior FFA? It was uh, a 4-H livestock fair. There you go. Yeah, so it was pretty pretty packed in the parking lot, but it was still nice. It was um, yeah. easily accessible to everything that, that we needed, like fast food, <laughs> showers. Uh, the showers here are super clean, too. They do a really good job of keeping uh, keeping the bathrooms up here, which was uh, a welcome welcome surprise. Yeah, so I think that when we are ready to uh, plug in, uh, fairgrounds might be a thing that we'll start looking into. I agree. Yeah, we would definitely stay here uh, longer. Kalispell had everything. Everything. Yeah. Downtown, like a historic downtown, a regular town. It actually kind of re reminded us of Ocala. It was uh, set up similar. Uh, it's not as big, but pretty similar. And not being surrounded by mountains. Uh, exactly. But other than that, pretty similar. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice town. We enjoyed it. We did. So today we are moving on wherever the wind may blow us. Westward bound. Uh, we're headed four hours away. May only make it two hours away. Just depends on how we feel. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm wearing a different shirt than I was earlier. If I told you the story, you wouldn't believe me. So I would. It's been a trying day, but we got about two and a half hours down the road, which took maybe four and a half hours. Well, we stopped and made some lunch. We did. We did some make some lunch. Take our time. Some, we had some comfort food. Right on. We are at the fifty thousand silver, silver dollar, dollar casino. casino. It's supposed to have a really cool gift shop too. Anyways, um, it's free. free. Jinx. And it has uh, electric hookup, so. Which are uh, free. It, we're running the AC. Absolutely, because it's a warm one today. It is. I mean, 76 is pretty hot. But we have <laughs> tried two new ways of camping in the last few days. Yeah. The fairgrounds and a casino parking lot, so that's really neat. Well, that's not even really a parking lot. It's actually considered a RV campground. Yeah, it's right behind the casino, right behind us. Yeah, they've got some pull-through sites. Uh, most of the pull-through sites are dry camping. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they've got the back end sites that have the electric. But we're actually fortunate enough to have a pull through site with some electric, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, when we pulled up, the parking lot was crazy busy, so we were thinking, oh, all the all the spots will be taken. Yep. There's, there's a few open, so we are uh, nicely parked here. See that right behind us? That's that's the electric hookup. I just I wasn't expecting. Right there. <laughs> We just weren't expecting um, an easy, you know, free campsite. So it worked so, out good. So we're going to go uh, have a couple drinks or spend a couple dollars. And explore the casino. They have chicken fried steak. That's what I hear. It's one of Ben's favorites. So we'll go patron them. Is that the right word? Patron? We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Two new ways of camping. Headed to Idaho tomorrow. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subs s s subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Click on the bell so you get a notification every Friday when we release a new video. And uh, get a new shirt at unhitchedusa.com. Ooh, y'all. I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next go-around in yeah. Idaho. That's right. On the flippity-flop. <laughs> Don't express out. Bye. Peace.